Day one, motivation's high, gear's packed, you're unstoppable. You lose fat, build muscle, transform, but it doesn't last. Days pass, desire drops, fitness goals become fitness dreams again. Because fitness starts on the inside, your brain is a circuit board that powers your body. If you know how you're wired, you can avoid your pitfalls. If you start with your mind, you can master your muscle. To achieve lasting success, you can't just repeat. You have to rewire. Take the rewired personality test today. Discover who you are. Get fit for life. Right when I finished the transformation, it really just kind of, it shocked me. I still never thought I looked good enough. I'm like, I'm not good enough. It's not quite right. Um, I can be better. I can be better. I can do more. You know, you get dialed in and re look really good for a short amount of time, but it's hard to maintain, especially when I had, I knew nothing other than just that one diet. So the transformation as a whole, I think it's um, an emotional roller coaster. You have ups, you have downs, you have good days, you have bad days. Um, most of the time, it, for me, it was just trying to get through each day individually. I never like transitioned during that 12 weeks. I never sort of practiced on what you do afterwards. It was almost just like, you're going to do it, this is your goal, you have 12 weeks, you're going to get in shape, and then boom, you're done, and you're just kind of like, all right, cool, we're going to go eat some wings, I'm going to pig out, and maybe for a little bit you kind of eat, but the last thing I was thinking about was eating chicken breast, broccoli, and brown rice when that was all said and done, so, yeah. Your typical transformation is usually all about a short-term goal. Even if you achieve your goal at the end of, say, the 12 weeks, you've achieved that short-term success. The problem is, what's, what's the next step? What's your goal after that? Really, a, a transformation challenge should be just a stepping stone into this lifelong fitness lifestyle. The problem is, most people are so focused at the end of this short-term goal, they haven't bothered to look beyond that. What's the next step? What are you gonna do after that? What's the new goal? What's your structure? What's your plan for achieving that beyond the 12 weeks? Getting to my last day, I felt tired, um, but excited. I couldn't wait to see where I ended. But there was also a little bit of fear of where do I go next? What's my next step? This program isn't about helping you understand everything that you've done in your past or how you've gotten to this point. It's about understanding who you are and how to take that and use that to your advantage to help find success with your fitness goals. The purpose of this program is to better understand our personality, to really take a hard look at ourselves, the way we are, the way we make decisions, the way we feel, be honest with ourselves so we don't have to defend our actions anymore, but to instead take an honest look at who we are, why we do what we do, and figure out how to take that and use that to create change, lasting change in our life. I realized after going through these transformations, that cycle of celebration, working your ass off to get back into shape again, not maintainable, it's tough. And so you're trying to get into that coasting mode is where my new goal is set. So it's like after a whole week, 12 week period, I didn't really learn anything except for how to manipulate my body, but it didn't really stick on how to live a healthy lifestyle. In order to create lasting change, you have to reset, rebuild, and rewire your brain. If you can understand why you fail, you can make calculated changes to create success in your life. Rewired is a nine-week program that incorporates training, nutrition, and supplementation, but this is so much more than that. We've designed an easy five-minute, 20-question test that'll help you assess your personality type and some of the pitfalls that cause you to fail past six months were pretty brutal. There's just a lot of travel for work. A lot of stuff was just going on. It was very stressful. I've started three transformations and the first two I did not finish. I think because it was a lack of planning, a lack of setting goals. You know, I wasn't really on a specific plan. Just stopped doing it. When it comes to people achieving their fitness goals, through the years I've heard all different reasons why people quit. 
Now after asking friends, family members, co-workers, getting on social media, and collecting every reason or excuse of why people quit, I was able to take those and categorize those into four basic personality traits. One is the thinker, the feeler, the socializer, and the provider. I like to give back and, you know, be there for everybody, so I do a lot of volunteer work. When you clock out, you know, sometimes it, it comes home with you. My physicality does affect my emotions because if I'm not where I want to be, then I'm not going to be happy with it. When I get lonely or sad or depressed, I want to turn to food. It's like you're stuck in this mindset of just, it's all or nothing. I believe that we all fall into each of these four categories. We can all relate to them in different ways. Maybe it's at different points in your life, you could relate to one more than the other. And circumstance, life changes, can also make you relate to each of these categories different. There's nothing that generates more power and motivation than the way you feel. The key here is to identify your strengths based on your personality. The most important thing you can do right now is stop Take the five minute personality test, which you can find on the home page of the Rewired program here on bodybuilding.com to determine, are you the thinker? Are you the feeler? Are you the provider? Or are you the socializer? Once you've established which personality you are and watch the corresponding video, I think it's also important to watch the other three videos. Since as I mentioned before, we can all relate a little bit to each of the four categories. Later, I'll be giving you all the details on the training, the nutrition, and the supplementation. But really, that's not the most important. The most important thing right now is to establish your personality trait and for us to address those issues. It's time to reset, rebuild, and rewire. Take the rewired personality test today. Discover who you are, get fit for life.